Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are here with the Tropical Pack announcement trailer. With also a big thank you to Frontier Development for sending this trailer a little bit earlier to me, so I was able to make this video for you guys. So without further talking, before we go over all the animals that will be added and, and all the stuff that you're getting, let's just go over the trailer and just watch it from the start. So yeah, the Tropical Pack announcement trailer. I do really have to say big props to anyone who made like the whole scenery and stuff because it looks absolutely amazing. We will go over the trailer and everything that we can see new in that trailer in a bit. But before we do that, like obviously you can't tell from this trailer what animals will be added. So with the Tropical Pack that will be released on the 4th of April, you will get five new species. The large gibbon, the red river hog, the fossa, the Asian water monitor, and a new walkthrough exhibit animal, which is going to be the brown-throated sloth. Now that last bit is a little bit odd to me. I did not see it coming that a sloth would be in a walkthrough exhibit, so I am very curious how that is going to look. I, I, I really have no idea. I really have my doubts about it, but I'm just going to be open when I get the game and just going to look at it. How will it feel? How will it move? How I, I can assume that having the sloth in a walkthrough exhibit is going to make animations and stuff a lot easier because just like we saw with like the bats or the butterflies, they're all pretty much moving in some kind of loop. So yeah, easily said, I think maybe they were just not able to pull off the sloth as a normal habitat animal and they chose because they really just wanted to add the sloth, they chose to add it into a walkthrough exhibit. But maybe it's like super cool, like like maybe we see the animal in game later on and be like, oh my god, that's just super amazing. I don't know. I really don't know. We're gonna wait and see. But next to that, you will also be getting 200 new pieces of scene items which are inspired by the rich architecture and flora of Southeast Asia and there will also be a new career scenario set and this one will be in the depths of the jungle and I can only think that this trailer is also recorded there so I think that career scenario looks absolutely amazing but we're gonna wait and see when I do the overview video of the pack how that map is actually going to look but I think someone really did a great job on this this map. So right, let's go over the trailer and see what we can spot in here. Like, as I said, like see how beautiful this looks. And then the temple here, this definitely gives me a lot of Koali Zoo vibes. Look at this beautiful flower. I've been watching the live stream yesterday and I was like, like every time I saw something pink, radish popping by and I was like, what is that? I just couldn't wear my head around it. But it was this, this thing, this flower. <laughs> And look at these plants, these look also super amazing. I think these are just the in-game roots that we already have. Also, just noticing later on in the trailer that the uh, the gibbon is using the vine, so I think, I'm assuming, that the Simon will also be able to use those vines in a later stage, so that will be just super amazing. Oh look, 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 there's one. There is one. You can see it right over here in the back. That looks just so cool. I really do like it that they're able to now hang onto these vines right over here. But also, yeah, I just really love this animation. It's really cool. And it's also really a lot of fun to have another, another monkey that is able to do this. So we have a lot of uh, new stuff right over here. I do think that this is definitely one of my most favorite themes regarding tropical stuff. Uh, I definitely need to change the franchise mode that I'm 
I just started like a grassland franchise mode, we definitely need to start using these these pieces as well because this is going to be amazing. So I need to be creative and see how we can implement this in the zoo and maybe change a little bit of the zoo theme. Now that we still can, I feel like we still can. So I think it's going to be fine. I mean, look at this in the background as well. It looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, I also really do love this right over here. It looks like there is like some kind of pattern as well. And I, I, I'm assuming that these are all custom pieces. Maybe not the pillars. Well, maybe these are also uh, standard pieces. I, I really have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. But it definitely looks really, really good. So really can't wait. But I'm not talking about this. Like you can see this is I, maybe this is just the brick. No, it's not brick, is it? Maybe we will see something later on, but you can tell that the top from here is probably pretty much the same as this top, but I could be wrong because it also feels like there are like statues on top of here. Okay, let's let's just try and see if we can find a little bit more. Like it, right over here, we can see a lot. Absolutely love these roof pieces. Like I said, I get I mean, a lot of Kowali Zoo vibes in this trailer, which oh, man, this 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 theme, you, you can only say if you work so long on Koali Zoo that this theme is definitely something you know, we really do love, even though we haven't uploaded for a while. <laughs> but man, look at this. Look at this statue right over here. Oh man, this is looking so good. But you can tell there is definitely a big variety of new type of pieces. Also, oh man, it looks so beautiful. I really am curious how many pieces this is, or is this like one roof piece or oh, this is definitely going to be very very good to play around with and to to create a beautiful tropical area there are a lot of uh stuff right over here that are already in the game i see so like the crates and stuff there is some i think these are new benches actually i'm not really sure it could be the indian benches but it could be uh the new uh, a new bench as well actually i do think that these are new I think this canopy is also a new one. Also, is this a new path? Actually, it could be a new path. Oh man, but we are getting no path, so who cares about path anymore? No, just kidding. I obviously do love some extra path textures. That is also always super amazing. Okay, let's just continue a little bit. Okay, we're getting closer. You see these, these things on top of these pillars? Maybe we got like a different variety of pillars in, in the game. That would be also really nice. There's also like a smaller version of it. So I think you definitely are able to create some really nice fountains and stuff as well, or like just, just walls and things. I think, uh, yeah, I think we are definitely able to do a lot of things with these stone pieces. My oh my, this statue looks absolutely amazing. If you have seen my, my previous video about the future of planet Zoo, <laughs> You did hear me say like, yeah, well, okay, who cares about the red river hawk being added, like another pig <laughs> being added into the game. It's quite funny that it did make it into the game. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, like, warthogs are my favorite, so nothing can top that, even though I'm pretty sure, like, all the animals in this pack will look absolutely fantastic. I mean, Frontier is doing a great job on all the animals, the previous packs. They, they just look really amazing. Now, talking about a path right over here, I think this is definitely a new path. Not entirely sure if we would go back, if that is the same path. I don't think so. I think this is a different type of path. It could be that we're getting two more different paths. Like, this, this definitely feels like, I don't know, could be a, a path texture, but like the leaves here could also be the leaves from the Twilight pack. Not entirely sure. This also looks like a new little piece right over here, which looks really cute. Uh, well, here we see the uh, Red River Hog in the backside. There are some temple pieces here in the back. Other than that, can't really tell if there is much more new in this uh, shot. Right, the Null Monitor. I was hoping to see a really cool new aquatic animal, semi-aquatic animal, or just in general, like an aquarium pack. 
anything aquatic well i'm getting something aquatic but it doesn't really feel super new to me because it's an asian water monitor we already have a now monitor so yeah it's not exciting me too much it looks amazing as always it looks super amazing i do really hope with this update the now monitor is finally able to deep dive i mean it was the only animal in the game that still wasn't able to deep dive. So I do really hope that with this update, they are finally able to also deep dive. I mean, I think it's pretty normal for now monitors to be able to deep dive as well. So yeah, I can only hope that they are going to implement that right now in the game. Like it makes more sense to know now that is probably the reason why they never updated the now monitor because they were working on the Asian water monitor. So that could definitely be the reason. But yeah, um, I love reptiles, but it's just a little bit of a pity that it's not a super spectacular animal being added. After a year of not seeing any aquatic animals, we're now getting an animal that is pretty much looking like an animal that we already have. Right, we get to the brown throated sloth walkthrough exhibit. I love these plants. These look absolutely fantastic. I'm not entirely sure if this is new. It it looks new to me. I first felt like it's it's maybe like the top of the fountain bamboo, I think it's called. But no, I think I think this is something new and different. That looks really nice. And oh, this is definitely this is bamboo, right? Yeah, this is bamboo. The sign looks super amazing here, by the way. Absolutely love it. You can see a little glimpse here of the monitor as well right over here in the water the temples we have already seen so if we just scroll a little bit further we got more to see of the beautiful sloth sign i think it will come including this branch so i i feel like you don't have that much flexibility when adding this sign but yeah well it's an exhibit so you will always have walls i guess now she is looking i'm not really sure what this is she is looking towards something at least oh right now you can see it is some kind of brick right over here so this is some kind of brick style although if i look at this side this feels to me more like limestone or something like that so i'm not entirely sure this is definitely a new path i think i think the leaves are added on top of the path but i do really love that they did really good job on that right over here we see a lot of the new plants i think i think definitely this tropical pack will be full of really good pieces and full of really good foliage uh, like I, I really can tell that this is going to be really good pack regarding pieces i think this is definitely going to be very high in my ranking regarding pieces not entirely sure about the uh about the animals but we just have to wait and see about that but this obviously is the walkthrough exhibit so looking at this it does mean that it's not changed in size or anything like that so i think it's just the same one as we have for the butterflies and for the egyptian fruit bat is that going to be a bat thing I honestly have no idea. I'm very curious to see more about it. And then right over here, we have a beautiful side of black and white gimmons. I absolutely love it that there is another color variation in it. They look super amazing in my opinion. There's one right over here sitting on top as well. That looks so cool. And then right over here, like these... Uh, these rooftops and stuff. I know Silver Rat is like a hero in making this. He already did that in Kuali Beach. Like, I don't know how many of you actually saw our Planet Coaster series of which started with Kuali Beach. And then later on, we started working on Kuali Zoo in Planet Zoo. So uh, these, these roofs go a long way back for us. So do let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what, what I mean with that. And if you guys recognize this as well. But yeah, the theme, the building theme definitely looks super amazing. I actually secretly hope that we will get some more of these roots and vines. Like, I can never have too many. It does look like a different type. So it could definitely be that we are getting some more roots and vines here with a different style to it. And I think... Think. Yes, this is the back side of the given right over here. I don't think we are going to see much more. Oh, yes, we do. We're going to see the given from the front. 
Look at this. Look at this face as well. Oh, they're so beautiful. But yeah, I'm not surprised about that. Frontier does a really, really great job in creating these animals. So not gonna lie, I obviously did hope to see some uh, more and better aquatic animals this time or some flying birds. But unfortunately, that did not happen. But I already gave you my opinion about that in the uh, Future of Planet Zoo video. If you're interested in hearing more about that, I highly recommend you to watch that video that I uploaded like a week ago or something on the channel so definitely make sure to watch that one but yeah overall uh, like the building stuff I am definitely super excited for and, and of course like I'm sure that I will open the game soon and then I will be like oh my god the animals are so beautiful they look so amazing but yeah I'm genuinely also very very curious about the brown throated slot and how they implemented it into the walkthrough exhibit we're going to wait and see about that but yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of the tropical pack. What do you think is your most favorite thing? Like, is the stuff something you get excited for? Are the animals or what kind of animal do you get mostly excited for? And also, by the way, normally when they announce a pack, they will also release some screenshots on Steam and stuff. So I will definitely make sure to make another video of that today as well so you guys will not be missing out on any screenshot reveals of any other animals so stay tuned for that leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys on the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys